Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raymond Orr. I'm a fasting expert and a breatharian level 3 guide. Today's subject is what is the best way to start fasting. The body is doing what it was designed to do and it's doing it perfectly and the body is a genius. You are a genius. Why? Because you have hurt your body for decades and within a three, four day fast, the body knows to realign your taste buds. The body knows to realign your hormonal balances. So many different things that happen during the first detox that you actually do, that you're going to say to yourself, oh my God, why haven't people found out about this yet? And the answer is, they don't want you to know about this. This is too healthy for them. It's hurting the medicine industry. It's hurting the food industry. It's not making money. It's not, it's making people happier. Don't do it. It's not good for humanity, you know? Stuff like that. The people that want to experiment immediately and just do it. Just do it. You don't need to rationalize it. You don't need to research it. You can just say from today until tomorrow at exactly the same time, I'm not going to eat anything. Okay? Not going to eat anything. If it's your first fast, I would actually just go for a regular water fast. You can water fast, don't take anything else. No herbal tea, no coffee, even though you can because it's zero calories, but it's a whole different conditioning. What you want is just water. You're going to notice that you don't need a lot of water when you're fasting because most of the water that you consume is usually for the digestive system, which is inactive while you fast. Okay? Don't have that mindset that I need a lot of water to wash the toxins. It's a mindset. Actually, you get a lot more toxins out when you're dry fasting. But that's a completely different subject. And then you have the people that need to learn a lot about them. And this is why I made this video as well. So, depending on how long the fast is and what the reason for your fasting is, you want to plan your fast. And I'm not talking about a 24-hour fast, which is kind of like easy going. You can do it while you're working. Uh, you can do it while you're exercising. No, I'm talking about three days, four days. Some people even plan a, a, a water fast for a whole week. Some people do 21 days. You know, you hear about these crazy people like me, right? So for a normal person to start educating themselves on the wonders and the miracles of fasting, usually they will want to try something around two or three days. In order to do that, what you want to do is you want to find a time in your life, better do it during the weekend, that you are stress-free, that you're surrounded by a supporting family or loved ones or friends, that you're not exercising and you're not doing anything that is irregular or takes too much of your energy. It's time for you to be in silence with yourself. That's the best type of fasting because what's going to happen is that most of the energy that goes to the digestive system will now go to the consciousness. So there's a lot of things, a lot of answers, a lot of downloads, a lot of things that start happening. And actually during the first fast, usually you ask yourself, why the hell am I not doing this more? This actually feels kind of good to me, you know? Just like when your friends tell you, let's go out. And then usually you say, no, 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 no. And then eventually you say, yes, let's go out. And then you enjoy yourself and you ask yourself, why don't I do this more? And then again, you go into the regular habit of saying no, because you don't feel like it. And you know, it's out of your comfort zone. So fasting is out of your comfort zone. It's not something that most people actually do weekly or live this type of lifestyle like I chose to do, but it's something that you do every once in a while. Sometimes it's because of toxins. Sometimes it's because you've reached the end, the limitation of your health, and you know that you need to do this. You've been called to do this. Your guidance is telling you all the time, do it, do it, do it. It's interesting. You used to live your life this way in previous incarnations. So. If you're drawn to it, you have to do it. It's only, think about it this way, it's only three days of your entire life. Experience something new. So let's go back to the best way to start. So like I said, there's the ones that are just going to jump into the water. They don't need to see this video. They're just going to do it. And it's easy, 24 hours, beginning now. You don't need a mindset for it. All you have to do is start immediately. Don't investigate, don't read about it, don't listen to any more of my videos about it. Just do it, you know? The, the best way is to experience it by yourself. And all the excuses and all the fears will fade away once you make the conscious choice. Once you make an intention, the body will oblige and the body will actually tell you that it's not really hungry unless you're second thinking about it. And unless you're saying, ah, but should I be hungry? Yes, you'll be hungry. But if you're saying, ah, you know something? Once I put my mind there and once my intention is set, actually, I won't be hungry. And that's usually the way that it works. 
But for those of you that want to plan a three-day fast, the best way is on the first day before the fast, you don't want to eat anything heavy. If you are a carnivore, it's not a good time to eat meat. It's not a good time to eat salt. It's not a good time to eat anything that is bread-like or pastas or pizzas, nothing heavy. Again, you won't die, but the body that is going into a fasting state usually detoxes. And the more toxins you have in the system, the more awkward and weird and disaligned it feels to you. You will be a little bit tired. You will have these type of like ups and downs of energy. Suddenly you want to snooze. Suddenly you, you feel like maybe even you want to throw up. It's okay. Let the body do that. So continuing with some fasting advice. The first thing that we said is that you want to be in the right environment, supporting environment. So if you have a spouse or kids, just prepare your friends or the people that are going to be around you. Don't make any plans for that time. If you do want to exercise, mild exercise, like walking outside in the woods. Good exercises, some stretching. If you want to do some breathing techniques as well, that's all really, really good for you, okay? Especially in the first time. After it becomes a proper habit, you won't really need this type of advice because you will already understand and know. What you need is the huevos to just go out and do it for the first time. So you can experience it for yourself. Nice walks, ups and downs. You will notice that you sleep a little bit less, again, because the digestive system is so heavy that the digestive system requires a lot of energy. Now that you're not eating, you'll have more energy or a different type of energy. If the detox is going to be a little bit harsh on you, then you will have, you will be a couch potato for a day or two, okay? You will notice that you have a little bit more energy once you start moving your body a little bit around because that's what the body likes. It likes to be outside, it likes to breathe proper air, it likes to live his life. So my friends, I bid you farewell. I thank you for watching my channel. If you enjoy, like and subscribe. And of course, Check out my life-changing Breatharian initiations anywhere in the world on raymaor.com. Namaste, my friends.